five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bob and Doug. America has launched. So rises a new era of American spaceflight, and with it, the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. Well, welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Isidro Elena. It's been a historic week in human spaceflight. NASA and SpaceX have launched humans to the International Space Station in an American vehicle from the Florida coast. After several years of collaborative development, training, and other preparations, the SpaceX Crew Dragon lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A on Saturday, May 30th, carrying NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken. The spacecraft completed all launch, rendezvous, and docking procedures successfully and officially docked to the International Space Station Sunday morning. When the hatches finally opened, they were greeted by friend and now crewmate Chris Cassidy, along with Russ Cosmos cosmonauts Anatoly Ivanishin and Ivan Wagner. Station, this is the NASA Administrator. I, uh, I will tell you, the whole world saw this mission, and we are so, so proud of everything you have done for our country and, in fact, to inspire the world. We sure appreciate that, sir. It's uh, obviously been our honor to be just a small part of this. Uh, we have to give credit to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and of course, NASA. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. What do you guys hope to accomplish in your time on the International Space Station? Well, while we're on board the space station, of course, uh, with the new spacecraft, we do hope to put her through her paces. And so the good ship Endeavor is going to get a lot of a uh, checkout over the next uh, week or two here. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, declare her operational. And Doug and I will be able to take some burden off of uh, Chris and his crewmates, Ivan and Anatoly, so that uh, we can keep the space station operating at its uh, peak possibility. We're just uh, proud to be a part of the team that got to bring uh, space flight back to the Florida coast. It was nice to uh, see a vehicle come to the forward portion of the space station, but I'll tell you what, that's the only way Doug and I know how to do it. <laughs> Currently, Hurley and Bankin are scheduled to stay on the space station for up to 90 days. You can follow all the news on the mission on NASA TV, NASA.gov, and on all of our social media platforms. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.